Also new at noon, Pittsburgh City leaders will review all tax exempt properties to determine if they pass a test or need to pay up. Mayor Ed Ganey signed an executive order today allowing the law and finance departments to start looking into the charitable organizations. Brianna Smith has more on how this could benefit the city. City leaders say the biggest concern is one third of property is tax exempt and the city loses millions of dollars. But Mayor Ed Ganey says now nonprofit organizations have to pass the purely public charity test. Mayor Ed Ganey says among the requirements, the organization must advance a charitable purpose, operate entirely free from private profit motive, and donate a substantial part of its services. Mayor Ganey says this does not include religious institutions. However, this could impact certain health systems universities and other organizations. If you fail to meet our constitutional standards, then we will make sure that you are paying your fair share to our city. Right now, we estimate that charitable organizations in our city right now would owe 36 million in property tax if they fail to meet the Pennsylvania purely public charity test. The city of Pittsburgh is facing a revenue shortfall, especially once the ARPA funds run out in a couple of years. And at that point, we need to make sure we have enough revenue to pay for our police officers, to pay for our bridges, and to pay for our snow plows. The city solicitor says this will be a long process and no one should expect a bill anytime soon. She says they'll start reviewing the largest properties to figure out who is a purely public charity. City leaders are asking for the public's help. If you know an organization that doesn't meet the requirements, you're asked to email report at pittsburghpa.gov. Reporting downtown, Brianna Smith, KDK News. And multiple organizations are responding to this. UPMC tells KDKA the mayor is aware of UPMC's ongoing support and can count on its full participation with programs in the city that are fair and equitable for the city's other nonprofits. The University of Pittsburgh also says they're an economic engine for the city and look forward to continuing to work with officials on a brighter future.